Hi, this is Fred with Quality One Engravers. I'm going to show you how to very quickly engrave multiple plates. First thing I'm going to do is go under Layout, go down to Plate Size, and I'm going to make my width 3 inches and my height 1. Click on OK. I'm going to click on my Text Tool, and this is a job to duplicate. Let me swipe through it and just make it a little bit smaller. Now I know this is quarter inch text and I'm going to take my handy dandy calculator and I know that if it were normal block lettering you would divide it by 8 but it's 0.25 and I'm going to divide it by 16 and I'm, I know it's going to use about a 16 cutter so I'll call it a 15 I'm going to click on 15 that way I know what cutter to use for this job now I'm also what I also like to do is I like to plate the object if you click on plate what it does is it creates a, a box around the plate let me undo it to get it back and I'm going to give that layer one so now this is what I want to duplicate I'm going to go ahead and select everything. Click on my badges. Uh, if this isn't uh, already in this menu right here, you can go to Options, Customize, Shortcuts. I'm sorry. You can go to Views, Toolbars, Customize, go to System, Customize, and find it in the list over here and add it and anything that's already in the list will will not be here and of course after you do it you can move these around if you want the undo in front of this one or behind it you can also put in little separators and things of that nature let me close that out close so now I'm going to select all this I have badges up here I just click on it and I tell it how many copies I want let's say I want 10 copies and let's say that my plate is um, the height is three inches by let's say 10 just for argument's sake and this is what you're going to end up with and uh, let's see if I don't want it to engrave this one this way I can change this width to nine touch the tab key and now it's going to actually make two plates for me which in for the most part I probably don't want but if I clicked on four now this is what it would do this is to the top I'm not sure why it wouldn't fill right here but let's make this 9.1 and see what happens and that worked a little bit better I hit the enter key but basically this is the job to engrave now because I don't want to engrave the boxes I want to select just item 15 and now that select this and that's all that I can select I can no longer select now if you want to check how it's going to engrave you can make a hotkey or you can go under layout and go sequence sequence by list now I made a hotkey control alt L and this is the first that's one that's gonna I'm holding the shift key and arrowing down second third fourth fifth Six. and within this menu so you can see it's going to engrave down if that's not the way that you want it you can rotate it around another easy way to do it if you want to engrave across you can go uh, layout sequence start sequence is probably the best one here 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 and then if you want to come down here click in the middle and wait till you see the crosshair 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 so that's one way to do it now I'm gonna undo this several times come back now if this is once I have it plated if I wanted to I could go to a range or layout plate size I could make the width uh, 10 inches and I could make the height 4 and say okay and I'm going to take this job and go to layout, plate size, and I'm going to put the zero at the top, which I normally do anyways. 
So now I'm going to select this and get my upper left corner and make this, make that at zero. So now it's up at the top. Now I'm going to use the array. So I'm going to select all. This I need to make P1. And let me just turn on both layers. So I'm going to select both of them. I'm going to use the array. And I'm going to have my spacing across. But I want my spacing across to be at exactly 3 inches. Because I have it on part to part. Object to object is how they call it. So I want to do 3 across. And then I want to do two or three down but of course I need to increase increase this value to exactly minus one inch and then I close this out so let's say I only wanted to do eight I can just take this one and delete it and that's how it will engrave if I want to look at how it's going to engrave control alt L and this is going to be the first one, second one, shift, third one, fourth, fifth. You can't really see this next one, shift, down, arrow, and so forth. So this will engrave across like we more expect in the engraving industry. Hope you enjoyed it.